All right then, it is time, uh, as you can tell from the title, to try out a new subscription box. Now it's been a while since I made a video, and um, before I do begin, shout out to uh, Thread252, or Ron Dong, as he's known on uh, Instagram, for the recommendation to try out Japan Crate. Uh, for those of you who may have been following the channel, I did buy Oyatsu box for quite a while, which is basically the same thing as subscription Japanese box. But I kind of quit because, well, they charged me money for bo a box I didn't receive. Uh, that was solved a few months later. Uh, also, there may be another video in the making because uh, they started another subscription box called Gacha Crate with, uh, you know, the sort of like little Gachafon uh, figures. And they charged me for two months and haven't delivered anything, so... Look out for that, but anything, anyway, that's not the uh, point. Today, as we can see here, we do indeed have Japan Crate uh, Sugoi, it says there in Hiragana. Um, and it's the premium edition. I think there's like two, maybe, th no, there's two levels of them. There's like the regular and premium version of Japan Crate. And then there's two other versions. There's like the Kawaii one, and there's a purely snack based one because I think this is mostly snacks we get a drink and like a figure a little uh, gash upon toy anyway so um yeah it's already honestly already I prefer this to Oyatsu box because Oyatsu box just came in a brown box really you know it had her on the side like Oyatsu box but this genuinely looks really exciting and stuff so we've got the um that's the website if you want to sign up for it yourself now I've signed up for a three month package I didn't want to sign up for the entire year because if I don't like it, I've wasted a lot of money, but one month wasn't quite long enough, if you know what I mean. That's their social media, if you do want to think. Oh, that's my uh, postal address and stuff. Okay, might blur that out. And at the back, uh, you can still see my postal address, fuck. Okay, well, so there I am, in my house, ordering. Uh, I've got a wall scroll of an anime girl and a desktop computer. Neither of those things are things I own. Uh, so then it's packaged by a cute Japanese girl. Wait, is it actually packaged? Because that would be... I, I'd, I'd pay more for that, you know. Uh, so then it's shipped by a member of the Super Sentai squad, uh, which is really nice. And then finally it's delivered so I can open it outside with a friend um, outside of my shed that I live in. That's a very small house. Anyway, uh, let's stop looking at the package and let's dive in. Now this is... Um, I'm going to call it July's crate because it shipped out on like the 28th of June or something which for all intents and purposes that is the next month's crate because uh, ain't nobody getting that crate within two days. There we go. Now I think this will be a nice re opening experience as well. Du -du 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 -du. Sugoi! Uh, I'll slightly zoom in there just so you can't see what's in here. I'm going to... Just close the lid. Uh, so this is the um, there we are. So okay, it is the July crate actually. That's very nice. Uh, oh okay. So they have um, they have a mascot. He looks a bit like Strong Bad from the old uh, Flash animation things. Uh, and that is, I presume, another of the things. And I think inside it'll just be yeah. That's a description of what we get and stuff. I don't really want to look at this much. I'll put her off to the side, because I will need to read this to know what items we get. But, let's dive in. Now, I'm not going to keep the lid open, just because you'll be able to see the products and stuff. Um, so, I'm just going to pull them out and be surprised. First, wow, okay, first off, this is quite a big bag, actually. We have, like, goldfish things? Gummy goldfish? Wait, are they? No. Okay, no, they're not gummy. They're kind of, like, chewy candy kind of stuff. So, this is... Uh, I'm going to go on a limb and say it's orange and uh, grape flavour. Actually, that says uh, urepu. And, uh, oh, that's pineapple. Sorry, I had to, uh, it took me a while then, because it's pineapuru. Um, that says flavour, probably. I can't read kanji. Um, right, yeah, so grape, um, that's really cool. Grape and pineapple. I was going to read through this uh, quickly, just tell you exactly what this is. All right, so this is actually called goldfish candy. Uh, apparently the wrappers make them look like... Oh, wow! Ah, oh, I had... Wow, that's really cool. Okay, so I know this may be one of the like big ticket items of this crate, but already I'm incredibly impressed. They look like goldfish, because it's a traditional Japanese thing, apparently, in festivals, to 
fish for goldfish. Uh, oh, that's really cool, actually. Really like this. Uh, I'm a sucker for, like, food that looks like things. That's a really generic uh, description then. Next up, yo! Okay, next up we have Kit Kat, and that is strawberry. Uh, strawberry... Nezukekiho. Nezukekiho? I don't know what that means, I just dropped this. I'm gonna go check. Okay, so this is actually a uh, frozen strawberry cheesecake Kit Kat. So that's what the other word was that I didn't understand. It also said bonus, so hang on. Ah, there we are. So there's two of them. Frozen che uh, strawberry cheesecake Kit Kat. Now, I've had a few different Japanese Kit Kats, and the matcha ones, the green tea matcha ones, phenomenal. If, if you like green tea uh, and matcha, like, they are amazing. So I'll put those off to the side. Really looking forward to trying those. Uh, next up is... Okay, it's like a sweet blue bottle thing. Uh, ooh, okay. Uh, I don't know what that says. Is that upside down? No, that's not upside down. Oh, this is Ramune. Uh, Ramune Poiru. Uh, Ramune Poiru. Okay, I'll go see what that is. I'm back. Okay, so I, I'm an idiot. I read to as E for whatever reason. That's Botoru. Ramune Botoru. There's apparently two of them. Uh, yeah, these are basically gummy Ramune sweets. Uh, again, very, very much like Ramune. It is like one of my favourite things. Whenever I go to Chinatown or wherever, I always try to grab some Ramune. Ooh. And this is a ball of some kind. Um, so I think that says Cider Ball? Cider Boru. Unless I'm reading that wrong, but Cider Boru. Uh, so I think in Japan, cider is actually kind of just apple flavoured drink as opposed to an alcoholic beverage. So I'm just going to quickly check. And indeed, this is a cider jelly ball. So it's like jelly uh, and apple flavour, basically. So next up. Ooh, is he like. This is definitely Ramune. Whatever this is, this is like a fizzy Ramune sweet. Uh, let's check it out. And this is a cider ball Ramune. Um, so it's like a hard candy, this fizzy and stuff, and tastes of Ramune. Very nice. So I'm personally getting the like smaller things out first, just so we can move up to the bigger things. Ooh, ooh, this is like oh yo, hello, ah oh, Super Mario Bros. <laughs> Super Mario Bros. Wii. Ooh dear, I hope this is in date, because that is an old game, um, you know, but I'm sure it's in date somewhere, somehow, or if not, it can't be that out of date. It looks like chewing gum, or is it chocolate? I can't quite tell. Let's check. And this is indeed Mario Wii Gum. Uh, very interesting that it's like themed after the Mario Wii games. Not that they're bad or anything, they were quite fun, it's just... It's quite a very specific uh, thing there. Okay, let's grab this. Th Yo! Okay, pride potato. Um, oh, okay. Koi Koikea pride potato. Uh, okay. Uh, that's in hiragana. I can't really read all of that because uh, some of it's in katakana as well, but it's like pura something. Oh, well, that's probably puraido or whatever. Um, yeah, got no idea what this is. Uh, that's a chef making the uh, the chips. Koikea fried potato. So I'm going to say they're like herb stuff. Let's have a look. All right, the description of this is a wild ride. So it's tempura sea salt, but the salt is made from a dusting of matcha powder, uh, which is kind of like thing uh, stuff used for green tea and stuff. And the texture is meant to be like tempura, which is like fried uh, prawn and stuff, or, well, fried stuff. This, this is crazy. This combination of flavours is like, and there's a Japanese comfort food um, called uh, shazuke, which is like rice with green tea seasoned with like seaweed. It's, that, that sounds incredible. I can guarantee I've never eaten potato chips that are quite like that before. Uh, right, let's see. Let's bring out the... Oh, hello. 
This is a really colourful set of... Oh my god, those are like tiny, tiny sushi? Is that sushi? Oh my god, this is fantastic. I don't know what those things are. They're like beans, those are like pink ball things. I don't know what the hell is going on here. This is so colourful. To Tosu... I'm not even going to bother reading that. Actually, I may, but I'll, I'll, I'll cut to it. Okay, I, I can't read that. Like, it's, it, it's, it's confusing me. It's been months since I've actually uh, brushed up my katakana. I really need to, but that's uh, top or any bar something. Uh, I'll go and check. Oh, also, let's check out the back first. Oh, okay, it's not quite as exciting as I thought, actually. Be right back. Okay, so this is the um, DIY kit of the month. This is a Teco DIY variety pack, and this is crazy. So you get like little lottery cards in it, and uh, each like number corresponds to one of the five prizes uh, there. So like, that's really cool. So they give like activities or whatever. I think the um, little rabbit thing is maybe not like sweets, maybe it's little cards or something. But that's that's really really cool so it's like a little lottery game thing that is that's adorable that's fantastic i already like you know not meaning to give my uh wrap up already here but th i'm really impressed oh it's an amiibo, amiibo stick right then let's work out what flavor this is is it going to be tomato no is that shrimp uh Okay, sorry, I was just having a look round just in case it did say, uh, it didn't really. So, let's check out what this thing is. So this is Shrimp Mayonnaise Umaibo, apparently. It's a classic, like, appetizer or whatever. It's like shrimp served with, uh, weird Japanese mayonnaise or whatever. Fried, uh, for a rich, savoury experience. Well, I am never disappointed with Umaibo. Uh, that is always a highlight for me, so... Ooh, let's grab a can of this thing. Georgia. Don't think this is from Georgia. I think this is actually from Japan. Can't even work out what that is. Is that like a toucan? I, is it a bird? Is it meant to be a bird? Uh, ooh, hang on. Emerald Mountain Blend. 100% uh, ko Kohi. Coffee? Is this coffee? Ah, okay, <laughs> this might be coffee actually, let's check. What? what? Okay, so it's Shonen and Jump Georgia Emerald Coffee. Um, at festivals it's common to see masks of your favourite characters. Some of your favourite manga characters are on each of these coffee things. Each can has a QR code that can be scanned for one free Japanese issue of any manga from their Shonen Jump uh, weekly app. Wow! Okay, wait, so is this... Hang on, is this like, um... What? Who is that? Okay, right. I <laughs> I appreciate the Shonen Jump and stuff. Genuinely don't understand who that is. For a second I was like, oh, is that Ichigo's hollow mask? But like... Maybe it is. Um, if anyone can tell me in the comment section below, let me know. This is coffee. Man, I'm really excited. I presume it's something to do with this guy, but he doesn't look familiar to me. Like, admittedly. Uh, oh, hang on. No, it doesn't say there. I mean, it's the 50th anniversary. Uh, oh, that's like a code or something if someone wants to use it. Wait, where's the QR code? Uh... I'm going to use it myself before this goes up. So everyone is shit out of luck. <laughs> Unless that was the code, maybe. Uh, wherever. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can do. I don't even know who that is. But, you know, that is very cool. Actually, what does the picture show on this? Uh, I can't make out who that is. Is that... Hang on. That looks like Vegeta. I can't quite make it out on camera because the uh, screen's quite small. So actually, I think the character portraits are there. I mean, this could be like a Kaniku Man villain or something. I'm not very sure. Uh, right, let's delve in. And is that the... Oh, there's there's two things left. So 
Coconut. I'm, I'm going to guess this is coconut flavoured somehow. Uh, ooh, are they like wafer things? Coconut wafers. Coconut pie! Coconut... Alright, uh, slightly damaged, but you know, it's, it's not the end of the world. It is in transit and there is a can near it. Coconut pie, let's have a look. Alright, so this is indeed coconut pie. Now, I've realised then, so this is what you get with the mini stuff. This is what you get with the original and this is what you get with premium. So, uh, that's cool. But yeah, these are like crackers uh, topped with like a coconut flavouring or something. And I believe our final product is this massive... What? Yo, chocolate chips! Chocolate chip cookies, really? Okay. Suica uh, chocolate chips. That's really cool. I think that... Ah, and there's like five little bags or something. That's fantastic. I might actually take one of these to work then. People will be like, what the hell are you eating? I'll be like, ha, don't tell me you've never heard of Suica. Actually, let's check. Okay, this just got dramatically better. These are watermelon chocolate chip cookies. Have a taste of summer with these unique watermelon chocolate chip cookies. Wow, that is... That's fantastic. That... Actually, yeah, looking at the box. See, there's like green and then there's red. and That is phenomenal. I'm definitely going to take one of these into work now, just to like show off and stuff. Is there anything else in the box? I'm just going to check and I'll be right back. I'm back. Yes, there's, there's still a few things in the box actually. So we have this, which is a man looking very conf concerned over a biscuit. Uh, and that, ooh, it's not some very royal kind of um, hiragana there. Something, something, no wasu... Kamano. I'll go and check. Alright, so this is the Forgotten Anko Dorayaki. Uh, apparently they're like little pancakes with red bean filling, and the joke is that they forgot to put the red bean filling in, um, but there is actually red bean filling. And the man down there is apparently very apologetic, and uh, stuff. It's like, it's a weird Japanese joke, I guess? I mean, <laughs> it's interesting, because, uh, you know, you don't get many joke foods over here. Also, I'm I'm gonna have to break for a second. I've been sat on my leg for about 20 minutes. All right, so the next thing, whilst my leg uh, slowly brings uh, back to life. Ooh! Oh, is this the uh, Lotte Koala? Koala Machi. Oh, Koala March. Koala Machi. Nice! I remember having these a while ago. They're like biscuits with koalas on them with some really nice chocolate in them. And indeed, these are Tanabata Koala March, which are uh, Koala March, celebrate Tanabata. Ah, July 7th. Happy Tanabata, everyone, and is known as the Star Festival. These treats are decorated with the iconic koalas. Ah, that's really cool. They're dressed as zodiac symbols and famous lovers. Orihime, not from Bleach, I assume, and Hikiboshi. That Tanabata celebrates well. Kind of learned something. Now, I was going to grab this to see if there is anything else. And indeed, the last one is O Ohi Ohi Wasu Wanta. I I'll I'll check. All right. Okay. So um, just going back. So the actual um, forgotten Anko Doriaki is this thing. Uh, no, it's not that thing is this thing because these are actually pancakes and stuff. This is the Forgotten King something. This is the King's Lost Crown. Uh, oh no, his king has lost his crown. But too bad for him, it's too delicious to give up. Crisp cookie is filled with chocolate and made to look like his top two-toned crown. Well, right, I'm going to put everything together in a nice uh, presentable way and I shall be right back. Alright then, I'm back. So that about wraps it up for uh, the July 2018 thing. Uh, also a bit of information on the uh, pamphlet here. So, wait, wrong one. Uh, hang on. Aha, it's that one. So um, this basically like gives you a bit of uh, background to Japanese things, which I've got to say I really, really appreciate because, um, as you can probably tell, I'm, I'm quite into Japanese things. So, uh, going on around July uh, is the Grand Sumo Tournament and the Kihoku Lantern Festival. Uh, and also, there's a little bit of Japanese here, which you can learn. 
which I very much approve of because um, it's just a fun thing to do, really, to learn Japanese. It's like 52 characters, or well, 102, basically. Uh, so, let's get a good view on this. And those are three little things if you want to pause the video or whatever. Uh, the second one <laughs> is actually very, very appropriate at the moment because uh, the UK, along with a lot of countries in the world, has recently gone through sort of like a two-month heat wave or whatever. And it's still boiling even today when it's been raining. So, uh, yeah. And also on the back here, they've got this uh, really cool... Wrong page again. All right then. Well done, me. Uh, they've got this really cool Sugoi crate thing, which um, they randomly pick someone every month or something. And it seems like, you know, like um, Loot Crate has the kind of like mega crate thing we can win an xbox or wherever they uh they send out things like that so you can get kind of uh you know figures and toys and stuff like that that's really cool that's a really really nice goku statue there and that uh pikachu launch game snes mini and i i believe it actually says there so uh oh actually sorry it says there so if you do want to read exactly what all of those things are uh be my guest and also at the bottom in case this does interest anyone and they don't want to maybe get a crate but specific things the shop's open apparently they've got a um spin the wheel thing we can get up to 80 percent off which is actually pretty darn good so overall how would i rate this very very good admittedly price point is a little bit higher than the atsu box was however i will say the absolute quality and presentation of this is phenomenal genuinely like i've i've seen this crate being covered in um a few videos you know various youtubers doing it and i was always like yeah yeah it looks fine but honestly i don't know i'm kind of just blown away by how well it's all presented the box i'm not going to pull everything out now but have like little cardboard things to keep everything in its sections and stuff it's just the care and attention and like I don't know, this booklet feels like it's got a little bit more love and care. And all of the items kind of seem... I don't know, they, they seem a little special as opposed to kind of like, oh, here's things we kind of found around Japan you might like. Um, but yeah, very, very, you know, very slight criticism. And it's not really a criticism because it's not something they'd include anyway, but kind of expected a gashifon figure or something or like a little key ring or whatever now i did get an email actually saying that there was going to be extra stuff in the premium boxes from now on i think they mentioned gashifon so i may actually be speaking a little bit too soon here but anyway uh to wrap up this video because it's about half an hour long already i'm i'm genuinely impressed i might do some reviews of like some of these foods the thing is Doing that is a bit awkward because I don't want to have to load up my camera and get a good lighting and angle and stuff every time I eat a snack, especially for like smaller snacks that you just want to like try or ever. But you know, for the bigger stuff, the, for the weirder stuff, maybe I'll do a review or something. Um, but as always, thank you very much for watching. If you want to comment or ever uh, down below, you know, feel free to do so. I'll leave a link to the website in the description in case you want to get one yourself. Um, and yeah. That's about it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.